Hello everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we beat Rockhawk, and I believe that might have been two episodes ago. Last episode, we actually beat Macho Groomba and made it. Well, we made it back, but we also got the Crystal Star. So now today, we're going to be doing a few other side kind of things as we're gonna go look around at a few areas on a few things. Email from Princess Peach. Miss Mario, I've uncovered some terrible... something terrible. These things, the X-Nets? Nots? I don't know. They're planning to take control of the world. It is to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what it crystal stars do, but you must try to collect them. I've gathered what I can. That doesn't sound good. Right. Does not sound good. Anyway, today's episode, let's go check out some badges that are up here. Drain, Sleepy Stop, Happy Heart, Ice Smash, and Power Jump. Um, power Jump might be a pretty cool thing to have. Buying others. What do you have? So, wow, we've got a ton of Power Plush stuff. Alright. Nothing of real importance, I guess. You know what? Let's let's take a look at our badges really quick. Let's see what we have. Um, okay. Okay. So this I think was in the other game. Uh, Paper Mario 64 as well, but, alright, I'm going to take those two off and put that back on. Okay. But I don't, I don't know if it was or if it wasn't. I want to do something at the moment. HP plus P. Alright, I'm gonna take that off. I don't know if I picked up a power plus for me or not. I don't think I did. Uh, I can take the clay camera off right now because I don't necessarily need it. Um, I technically don't need Happy Heart on at the moment either take that off. Uh, I do really want to put this on. I can put that on. Alright, that sounds pretty good for now. I'm just kind of looking at what kind of options I have as far as things go for today's episode. We just kind of need to look and see what we have. Um, I have seven, wow, seven shine sprites. So... Um, I want to level up Goombella, because we're going to be using her a lot. So it's best that I do this... ...now, <laughs> before I forget. Because we have her out a lot for tattling, it's good to use her for battling as well, so... So there we go. She now has the same HP as we, and her attacks went up. She also gained a new attack called Multi Bonk, um, which continue bonking foes until you miss an action command. This is basically the same thing as. What is it? If I 
find it. This. Let's you attack an enemy. Let's you jump on one enemy until you miss the action command. So, multi-bonk is really good, and it's gonna come in handy. Anyway, for now, let's head down below the town. And go to... Get the fourth Crystal Star location. Uh, before we continue going down, we can actually come over here now and break these blocks. We can also get another Shine Sprite while we're over here. And basically, for pressing these switches, they'll allow us to teleport to different locations, judging by the blue pipe. If you've seen my Paper Mario 64 Let's Play, then you know blue pipes are usually warp pipes that take you to previous locations. So. No, I don't believe I can break this block. No. Can't break this block, obvious. Obviously. That would be pretty cool, but we can't. But we also need to go, I believe we need to go through these pipes, like in the other one, to activate these pipes. So let's do that. Before I forget, because <laughs> these will come in handy a little bit later on in the game. Zero. Here we are back in. Petal Meadows, and I believe... No, I did pick it up. I was gonna say, there's a badge in there, but I must have picked it up a little while ago. Alright, continuing on. I'm gonna need to eat something before I make another Let's Play today, because my stomach is hungry. And we have the Great Boggling Tree as well. That also means that we can come down here and break the block that's down here as well. So now we don't need to go up there and form into a paper airplane anymore. We can just jump on the trampoline and jump right into here. Which makes things a lot easier. Shine that. Fixing my mic there. Real quack. Real quack. Interesting. A reddish, rubyish looking crystal star. Interesting. Boop. Boop. So hope he's got some tattles in there for some enemies. Which he should. That'd be great. He doesn't, bastard. This sure sounds like legendary treasure. More serious than I thought. The great catalyst. Was that a thousand years ago sank the town underground? It's not because of the matter, because if they do get it, then once this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. The 
Next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Interesting. Twilight Town, huh? I'll tell you the truth, I don't know much about this place myself. Only rumors. I've heard that its name implies it's perpetually dim and eerie there. There appears to be a t pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogiport. It's underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Also, if you look up here, you see those sun, moon, puny, and star again? Those are the same things that we used uh, during the one tree in the Boggly Tree. So it's pretty cool to see stuff like that again. Now, technically, one of the few things is going to happen here, and I'm going to actually talk about it really quick. We can go to that pipe right now, and really, what's going to happen is that we're going to go down the pipe, and it's going to reject us. But, the reason why is because our names aren't on ourselves. So what we can do is we can come back here and talk to this guy, but if we come back a little bit farther, I don't know if I already got it, I must have, there's usually a star piece back there, but we're going to talk to this guy. And if you talk to that guy, he can, um, he'll let you get through that pipe. So we don't technically have to go back to Professor Frankie, but we can if we want to. Also, while I'm at it, I'll show what's back here, because we haven't actually been back here before. And we've got this place, which I believe... Nope, maybe not. I thought there was a star piece in here, I guess not. Bunch of wanted posters. And there's nothing over here, so. So, what we have to do to find this place is come over here to these grates and do that which drops us down below where we can use Yoshi to do that to get another Shine Sprite to open this door. Inside of here is a pipe leading to Twilight Town. How convenient. And like I said, we get rejected. Literally. So in the meantime of that, let's go visit some other areas of these pipes. As we can see, if we get over here, we've got a star piece. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but star pieces allow us to buy, I believe, badges. I could be wrong, it might be items. But they allow us to buy stuff, which is always a good thing. That took forever to load. Anyway, here we are fighting some new enemies, which we're about to tattle. That's a Spinia. Smash HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It's the same thing as the other ones, only they have spikes on their heads so you can't jump on them.
one measly star coin out of all of that. Beautiful. So there's a pipe leading back up, which will take us back up to the surface. But there's also another one, which leads us down. also another pipe in here. Now, we can come back here, but we can't do anything here at the moment. You can probably tell that. So let's continue going down the pipe. I could have picked up that item, but I really just chose not to. And uh, this pipe leads you to the Pit of 100 Trials, which is conveniently located right outside of the thousand year door. So anyway, uh, I'll meet you guys back up at Professor Frankie. Alright, so here we are. Just push this right back. Can't go through the pipe, you say. How odd. Hmm. Afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what we should do. I've heard a fella from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. I know, see. I bet he knows He should know how to get through the pipe. Let's go find him. Oh man. This whole town? Who knows where it'll be? Oh dude! I found him! Not like I already knew where he was anyway, but. Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Like the M on the hat isn't obvious enough. Mario, huh? Right. Interesting. Perfect Amundo. <laughs> Where are you writing that? So let's go to Twilight Town. But we're going to save Twilight Town for the next episode. And in the next episode, we will be going to Twilight Town. Yes. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching today.